Hello, this video is going to talk about lab 12 for this class, which is about the heap sort algorithm. Now this week we covered heaps, which are a data structure that can be used for lots of different programs. Basically, whenever you want to store data, but you want to get it out in like priority order or like the biggest or the smallest first, those can be used in lots of different algorithms and for lots of different programs. But one of the things heaps can also be used for is for implementing the heap sort algorithm. And so because the way a heap works is it gives you always the biggest or the smallest value whenever you remove from it, one thing you can do is if you want to sort a bunch of data, just load it all into a heap and then get it out by dequeuing each element. And if you use a min heap, then you'll get it out in ascending order. And if you use a max heap, you'll get it out in descending order. So for your lab today, what you're going to do is you're going to implement this heap sort algorithm and also compare it to the other sorts we talked about, namely the bubble sort and merge sort algorithms. So let's go ahead and look at the lab page so we can talk about this. All right, so for this lab, you're basically going to be implementing the heap sort algorithm, which is given here. So what you do is for each data item that you want to sort, you add it into a heap, then you basically pull the things back out of the heap into the array overwriting it. So set i to zero, while the heap isn't empty, DQ the next item and put it in the next array slot, array slot i, and then increment i. Basically, you just load it into another data structure and then back into your original array. So you should implement this algorithm, and we're also going to compare it to the other ones we've talked about so far, bubble sort and merge sort, and do some big O analysis. So for the details, you can start by downloading this heapsort.java file, which I've given you. This has a couple things in it. First, it has the int heap class that we talked about in class this week, just to sort of you know make it more convenient for you. The code is just reproduced here. This is a max heap, and it is kind of hard coded to only store integers, but that's what we're going to be dealing with here anyway. Then we have in the heap sort class itself an empty method called heap sort, and you of course should fill this in to implement the heap sort algorithm we talked about. And then the main is similar to the bubble sort and merge sort means we did a couple weeks ago, except I went ahead and made some of the changes that you had to do for that for you here. So it starts off by getting the first argument and using that as the size of the array that's going to be generated so that you don't have to have it hard coded and have to recompile each time you change it. You just pass into main how many items you want in your array. It also has the code to do the timing. So it prints out at the end how many milliseconds were, were taken. Then it puts in a bunch of random numbers just like last time. And I left in the code to print them out right now. So it prints out before what the array looks like, then heap sorts it and then prints it out afterwards as well. So this is your starting code for this lab. Then you're gonna be doing a couple of changes to it, of course. Um, the first thing you should do actually is change the heap from a max heap into a min heap. So that's gonna require you to go into the insert and DQ methods and change things around so that instead of having the biggest item always at the top, it's gonna to be the smallest item at the top. So if you understand what happened in those methods and how they're working, it I don't think will be too hard. Basically, you have to flip around a couple of less than greater than signs. Then you should add the heap sort algorithm at the top of this page into the heap sort method in Java code, and then verify that the sorting actually worked. So the code has the array being printed out before and after. So run that a couple of times and verify that it's actually sorting it correctly. And it should be in ascending order, smallest to biggest, which is why you made it a min heap, because each time you want to get the smallest thing remaining in the heap out. Then for the performance analysis part, you should take out the printing code because that's going to slow it down super, super a lot. So delete the printing code and then run it on the sizes 1000 through 1 million, just like you did for lab 10 here. Um, for lab 10, we did this sort comparison, if you remember, and I had you fill out this table. If you have the same table, you should just fill out another column for heap sort. If you don't just fill out the same rows, basically, you know, a thousand and then two thousand or, or whatever it says, and just go through the same way. Then you should compare it to how well you did for bubble sort and merge sort. And if you don't have the file anymore, you can at least go on Canvas and see what you submitted last time so that you can at least make the comparison. So for a million items, does heap sort take more time than bubble sort, less time than bubble sort, 
less time than merge sort, you know, where does it fall between those? Because we found that merge sort was way faster than bubble sort. Where does heap sort fall? Is it as fast as merge sort? Is it even faster? Is it somewhere in between or is it even worse than bubble sort? That's the question. And then lastly, you should figure out what the big O for this heap sort algorithm is. So you can analyze this algorithm, remembering that adding something to the heap is big O of log n, like we talked about, and dequeuing an item is big O of log n. So analyze the other loops and the things going on in this algorithm and answer that question. For the submission this week, you're gonna turn in basically two things. One is the code you came up with to do your heap sorting, and the other is the answer to these two questions. First, how does heap sort compare to bubble sort and merge sort? And secondly, what is the big O of heap sort? So submit the code on Canvas as a file submission. And then if you want, it probably is most convenient just to comment on your submission with the answer to these two questions. So that's all for this lab. Let me know if you have any questions like usual. Thanks.